Hey guys, All Little Windows here. Today I am back with another video. And today what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to be installing Windows Whistler build 2276 on actual hardware, of course. Um, unfortunately, I don't really know what happened to, I guess, the hard drive that was in this thing or the SSD, whichever one I was using. So I lost all my progress, uh, which is honestly I'm okay with. I'm sure there was issues with the drivers and whatnot to begin with. Um, but yeah, I figured, you know, go ahead and get fresh drivers installed and get this build installed fresh. And yeah, I guess let's just, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so first of all, I'm going to, I guess, just open up the disk drive here. Take the disk, plop this in. Of course, I'm still gonna upgrade because you know the driver issue. Because uh, I don't think the drivers will install properly. Well, Windows Whistler is Windows XP, just the beta version, so, um, yeah. Uh, hang on just a second, let me think here. Let me go to beta wiki here, and then 27, 2276, and then I'm gonna read the stuff as it's installing. Nice, Autumn. All right, oh cool, look at this, it's got a little setup window here. So let's install Windows. Now that I think about it, I don't even... Ooh, I don't remember this. This is new, isn't it? The Express Upgrade. Now that I think about it, though, I don't think I have the product key. Maybe I do. Uh, I... <laughs> Dynamic Update. That's pretty cool. Okay. That's fine. Okay, well, it's copying installation files. I guess it's going to be one of those times where there's either no product key or it's going to ask me for the product key after it's installed, which has always been so stupid. You know what? Actually, wait a minute. Forgot, I got to change the date. So it's 9-28. Oh, shoot. <laughs> as soon as I went to change the date. All right, so it's uh, 9-28-2000. So 9 Oh, I forgot to scoot this guy over. There you go. Whoa, the background's blue. Oh, it's like lost all of its color. This is weird looking to me though. Like it's just really like a dark blue color and it's a cyan right here. It's just, I mean, I like the animation, I guess, down there. I don't know, something seems a little off because the colors down here are regular, but these look like low color modes stuff. Man, it's crazy how like different Windows is now compared to how it was back then. Like, it's changed a lot. So I hope you guys like the, the background lights, actually. It's, I for, completely forgot I even had them. Like, I've had them for a long time, even before I started streaming. So if you guys are wondering what this thing is here, uh, this here is actually a cooler slash heater. So, like, you could put a cold drink on there to keep it cold or a hot drink and it'll keep it hot. And this over here on this side is a wireless charger for a phone. So, I, I mean, I, I, I think it's pretty neat. I can't remember what the brand is. Wait, did it just restart the installation? God, I hope not. Man, I hope this thing installs. What is going on? It's still stuck at 35 minutes. Why does Windows, like old Windows uh, stuff, always freeze? It always freeze, like right, freezes right there when installing devices. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot I gotta read this this thing. Uh, for those for the YouTube channel, for the videos. Um, okay, so, Windows XP build 2276, or Windows Whistler. I guess let's just read it off. Uh, new features and changes. Setup has received major updates for the run-up to the official Beta 1. It includes a blue watercolor design instead of a Windows Me one used in the last build, which we can clearly see. Um, Windows Mini Player has been updated to 7, as with Me, Windows Me. Internet Explorer has been updated to a beta version of Internet Explorer 6, however the version branding is still labeled 5.6. The About Program banners have been slightly updated to have the logo be more flat, fluent in appearance. The login screensaver now also shows the skew of the build. The Start button has also been updated, resembling the old Windows 2000 design, instead of the one from 2257 and 67. This build is the first to have the new Help and Support Center fully replace the classic Help, which would eventually remain in the RTM, albeit redesigned. Alongside, co compatibility mode debuts in this build, but instead of being 
a setting in the properties of an application, it is a launcher from Help and Support Center. The network identification wizard no longer launches after a clean install. Category view from control, no, oh, category view for control panel has been revamped and control panel includes a new text-to-speech applet. The UBI now includes a mouse tutorial for new users, that's pretty cool. This is the first build to include the Windows Whistler animation at the start of the UBI. All through the intro animation is now a video file. In Windows Me, it is a Flash-based animation file. Okay, so it's video now instead of Flash. Interesting. The Personal Start Menu name has been changed to Simple Start Menu. The Logged In User's name is now shown in the Start Menu. The Shutdown and Log Off buttons were also fixed when the theme is set to Professional. A control panel, the Sounds and Multimedia applet, was renamed to Sounds and Audio Devices. Bugs. Installation. This build cannot be installed via booting from the installation media due to a bug check. To install this build, use msdosh slash windows 9 x boot disk, partition and format the drive, and then run winnt.exe from the installation media. Some devices are not compatible with this build as it causes a bug check at the end, blah 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 blah. Alright, cool. Alright, hopefully this works this time. Man, I wish this would go faster than 35 minutes though, jeez. Installing start menu items. Let's see what happens here. Oh god. Well, looks like we have some video bugs there, but it wasn't choppy like it used to be. That's good. That's really good. I still love the whole background thing going on there. With the whole whistler and there's some other text you can't really see very well on camera. Alrighty. Welcome, Gabe. Thank you for purchasing this computer. Let me say that again, sorry. Welcome, Gabe. Thank you for purchasing a computer with Microsoft Windows Whistler. During the next few minutes, you will be guided through a few steps to enable the internet and multimedia capabilities of this computer. Cool. I don't... Wow, really? They still have a mouse tutorial? I'm not gonna go through that. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're already done. Didn't even ask for a product key or anything, it's kinda weird. Five laptop? Why did I call it five laptop? Oh, five dollar Windows 98 laptop. Never mind, I remember. <laughs> well, I guess there's a start of sound again. Pretty interesting. Wasn't really expecting that. Ah, uh, look at that color. You can't really tell on camera, but the color is correct, so the display is working properly. Ooh, interesting layout. Okay, well, there you go. I guess we are in Windows Whistler. It's looking pretty cool. Oh, it still has the pop out here. Oh, the background is the Windows Millennium background again. Interesting. Let's check Media Player first, I guess. Oh, yeah, they call it Windows Explorer. How long has it been called that, actually? Oh, God. Oh, wait. I'm glad y'all couldn't hear that. This thing looks so weird. Yeah, version 7. Alright, uh, Internet Explorer has been updated to version 6, so we all should know what version 6 looks like. Well, beta version of 6, right? Yeah, beta version of IE6. So it should say 5.6. Yeah, 5.6. It's pretty interesting, but, you know. Well, let me let me get the proper background here. One that I really like. Watercolor. That's not it. Oh wait, do they not have watercolor? They did in the last one. Oh yeah, they called it professional, that's right. Please don't be bugged. Yes! Yes, finally! 
It's not broken on this one. And look at that. Look at that speed. That's how you know the video drivers are properly installed this time. Okay, nice. Nice. I like it. This build is the first to have the new help and support center. Must be this. Oh, okay. This is this is interesting. Look at that. This looks kind of Windows Millennium themed. Okay, this is interesting. Huh, alright then. So this is what help and support looks like first. I wonder when the, uh, you know, the, uh... That little animation thing? I can't think of what it's called right now at the moment, but... Uh, the Welcome to Windows, you know, the Windows XP thing. They have, like, a beta version. I just don't know when it first comes out. I guess it's not come out yet. Alright, what else is new in this? The network identification wizard no longer launches. Category view for control panel can be revamped. Ooh, let's look at uh, control panel. Where is control panel? Oh, yeah. They changed stuff around a little bit. She right here. Oh, it came in the 24XX builds. Okay, thank you indeed. I hope someone can remind me. Oh, I, oh, okay. It's this. Interesting. Performance and maintenance. Uh, user accounts. Let's see. Let me change the picture. Okay, well, good pictures. Let's just go with this one. There we go. I don't know why there's three different accounts here, but... Hello, Phoenix. Welcome back. Alright. We saw the Ubi. We don't need mouse tutorial. We should have looked at it, actually, but whatever. The first build... I guess that's everything, actually, for this build of Win, uh, Whistler. Oh man, I should have went through the tutorial. I thought it would have been taking forever. Well guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Uh, make sure you guys go down in the description below and check out any of the links that I got on my Discord server. You guys can help buy me a coffee, you know, for just a dollar. It, it's, it, you know, any support, any anything helps, anything helps. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.